Hi, it's John here. It's about the 21st of August and we're out picking cider apples. Now this is a proper cider apple tree and they're red, look, they're all nice and ripe. Uh, somebody said it's a Tom Putt but Tom Putt apples on the internet, it says that they keep well, quite well, well I don't think these are going to keep but uh, I've already picked quite a few and made some apple juice and uh, now we're collecting up a load for <coughs> cider making of course the wasps have got to us, got to them first but uh, we were a bit ahead of the wasps well, they got them first but um, they've only got to the four of us so uh, we've been putting ladders up getting down, we got we got a sack full at the moment bucket full, so we've got a box full, so we've got about two sacks full and, and uh, apparently it's about three gallons of cider per sack I've been up the tree we've got nearly all of them but I can climb a tree I think last time I tried to climb a tree I, I couldn't do it so we're getting set up for the pressing the apples and um, there's the new wine press or uh, apple press by fruit and grape press uh, it's quite a strong one mellow first of all we put them through a garden shredder in and then the mulch goes into into the bucket there you want the bucket under this one John yeah all right, all right. ah that's it mulch goes in the bucket and uh, and then we put it in the press here these are the apples these are the apples that are chopped in half wasp already got on there and we got five we got five big bags of um, apples and just emptied a box in here so we've got still got some more at home if we need them so we're just getting geared up ready for the first pressing filling up the bag from this is all the shredded material and there's the bag got to put the bag inside the press Now uh, we've got about two gallons of of uh, apple juice now and about I don't know how many wasps. The wasps are gradually building up strength. But we, oh, then we haven't been stung yet. Now this is the uh, we've just filled it up with 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 the pulp and um, when you first start pressing it, it really comes out. Um, so we've got about two gallons and we've done about two and a half bags so we're not getting a huge amount per, per bag not quite as much as we thought but we're going to have enough to make us silly aren't we John? Yeah yeah and this is lovely sweet stuff it's, it's like um, I think it would make even without any sugar this just bring it in a barrel yeah, without with it straight in a barrel without anything without yeast without without sugar uh, without any pectolase or if you want it you just add sugar yeah so now we're putting the pressure on and it, it, it comes out a bit slow but it keeps coming out well I've got about four gallons of pure apple juice and what I've done I've siphoned off a bottle here and what my idea was to um, freeze this for apple juice for drinking but the only problem is it looks absolutely disgusting now when I was juicing the apples with an electronic kitchen juicer the apple juice came out nice and clear but pressing the apples the apple juice is coming out uh, that brown horrible colour so I don't think I'll bother um, say it's freezing any for apple juice and because it's got all the little bobbin apples and um, the unripe apples in it it's not as sweet as the apple juice which I was um, getting from the juicer because what I was doing there was picking out the ripe, ripe apples and most of the, you know, cutting off the bits that the wasps had, had um, been eating. Um, 
and what I've, I've done, you can see I've fitted an airlock in there, it's not all fired up yet, but I've been reading up on cider recipes, and the, the old traditional cider recipes is just bung it all in a barrel, barrel uh, and let it all uh, do itself. Um, no, no yeast and no sugar. I mean this, uh, this would do it, but I think what I'm going to do is put some sugar in it, and put the airlock on obviously, I uh, might just give it a little sprinkling of cider, cider yeast because I've got to pack it open and um, uh, and just let it do itself. No, uh, I'm not going to put any uh, sulfites in it, no camphor tablets or anything like that. Um, this uh, this book here, Homemade Country Wines, Tried and Tested Recipes Collected from the Farmers Weekly, um, 1955 I think this was first published. Uh, and that was that was saying about these cider recipes. Now the thing is, uh, on the internet, on YouTube, there's people who are doing videos about making making cider and that, and, and, and they, they say they've never done it before, so they don't really even know if it's going to come out right. But there is one video on there where somebody's just just puts the uh, cider in the apple juice in a barrel and it um, makes itself. But if you think about it, all these ciders that you buy from the shop, I mean, that is pure apple juice. I mean, those ciders you buy in the shop, I bet two thirds of it is is water, isn't it? So, um, it's something to think about. Right, bye for now.